Today we are diving into the hottest trend of the year in web design, 3D interactive websites. And today I'll show you how to create them easily. We will be working with amazing website builder Dora, where you can, without much effort, create 3D websites for yourself, for your clients, uh, animated, add video sequences and much more. It's a beginner friendly tool, so you just can register and start creating. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the process of building a dynamic 3D animated website from scratch. No coding is required, and along the process, I will comment and give some tips. So, if you like this form, please let me know in the comments below. So, let's begin. Dora is a browser based platform, so you don't need to download anything, just register and start creating. Also, I want to mention that Dora has an AI website generator, so you can ask AI to generate for your website, then you can add 3D file and animate all the elements on this website. But for now, I will craft a website from scratch. If you want, you can prepare web design first and then add the 3D elements and animate it. I just go with the flow and add everything step by step. First and foremost is choosing the width and height of the website. For the height, drag this line down. If you experience with Figma, you'll likely find the Dora interface very familiar and easy to navigate. Let's start with the hero section and I'm going to add a space background. The important thing is that all elements you need to connect to the page report for more precise animation and to make a page responsive for any size. But for now, we need to connect just to the top viewport. Also, you can craft your design in Figma and using a plugin, copy and paste your creation into Dora, as I did with the header. Easy peasy. And now the nicest thing, adding 3D object. You can create or find 3D objects on Sketchfab or TurboSquid, for example, but be sure that 3D objects are less than 20 MB, and Dora supports these formats. Now let's add our first 3D model. Add the 3D widget into which you'll import your file. Don't forget to place the header above all elements and you can lock it not to move accidentally. I found suitable studio files on Sketchfab, CG object library, and I will create a kind of portal to the VR game world. In this 3D widget you can rotate, move, zoom in and zoom out 3D object, so now I am looking for a perfect position for it. Ok, I found a perfect position, the next I'll show where the real magic is happening. Open the tool keyframe panel, this is where you can make animations of all elements of the page. It works similarly to Adobe After Effects. If you work with After Effects, it could be even easier to understand the principles of keyframes and drivers. A keyframe represents a specific state of an object. When you add another keyframe and modify the object, it captures a new state. Between these keyframes, there is a transition from one state to another, creating animation. There are two types of keyframes, general, which change state and the pin, the second, which follows the viewport during scrolling. Or, in other words, the object during changing states stays on the screen while you scroll. I'm using a pin keyframe to make 3D to be fixed to the viewport. So now I'm adding the next state of the 3D object, and if you need to change the position of the object, you actually change the camera view, so for this use the default camera. I pin all the elements, so not to lose anything from the scene, and it is convenient to see the timeline. We can check how scroll animation works in preview mode. Great, it works as expected. 
I will add another 3D to the scene and place it above uh, the first. I recommend adding them one by one, because uh, the second widget can cover the first and block it for editing. With the second 3D object will work in the same way, and positioning it in relation to the first one. It's truly remarkable how this tool enables us to generate a vast variety of 3D animations for websites. Let's see how it looks in action in preview mode. Looks great! I'll add some last touches to the hero section. I want to add a blur effect. For this, again, I add a keyframe with a blur effect on the front object. Now I will add some text, this is a website after all. Using the text tool to add the text and in the right panel change it to your liking. I want to mention that uh, the first key frame for the text should be zero transparency or turn the ability off, that it doesn't cover the first section or just place it exactly where it should be. I'm making some correction for the animation so that the text show up how I need it. Now let's uh, take it to the next level by adding some descriptive text uh, and uh, we'll gently fade out the title and uh, introduce two chunks uh, of engaging description. I'm adding the text uh, and changing it to my liking. I'm making uh, everything approximately, but of course uh, it is better to make everything with a grid and uh, correct spacing. That you can create in Figma and easily import it in Dora for animation and publishing your website.
A nice feature is that you can change the rotation of the text in all axes, which expands creative animation possibilities. So I'm setting rotation on the X axis, so the two text blocks appear one by one. And I added fade in transition for smoother animation. We've done with the first part, so let's see what we've got. Awesome! I should use the main principles of working in Adora with 3D and other elements, so if you're crafting along with me, I recorded the rest of the video so you can finish your website or just watch it to see some nuances.
thank you so much for watching until the end and I hope you created your amazing 3D website and can use this platform for yourself and for your clients. I appreciate if you like this video and let me know in the comments uh, what do you think uh, or maybe what uh, videos you want to see next. Until next time, happy designing!